He wants me to join his spot trading desk. The one very important role in life as Tenmai is if you show me your friends and you show me your surroundings, then I'll show you your future. Be careful what you surround yourself with and who you have coffee with. That's really important. Okay guys, this is Colin Sell's place and I'm meeting Colin Sell today. So you uh. You've seen Colin before. Colin, can you give me one final tip? What's the difference between retail traders and prop traders? Retail oh, traders, uh, retail traders, uh, they maybe trade their own money, they will be less disciplined. Less trade disciplined. Their own money and they will have. Yeah. As a retail trader, most likely they will make mistakes. Uh, mm -hmm. As a prop trader, because they are paid to trade, mm -hmm. so they will follow rules. If not, they, are, they will be out of a job very soon. Uh. Mm -hmm. Prop traders tend to be more disciplined for uh, certain way of trading. More disciplined? Yeah. Okay, discipline is the key, guys. So. Yeah. Inspiring catch up with my friends, so. Now I need to go to the library. Now because on this channel I talk about forex and also stock investing. So it's like I got seasons, you know what I'm saying? Like it's like on one month I'll just read stock books. Then on the second month I'll just read forex books. Gives you more variety. I might be interviewing some famous traders, which you'll probably already know if I mention the name. But it's not confirmed yet. But I got some connections so hopefully it all goes well. And then tonight, I'm gonna go to different places around Singapore because I'm moving away from my current house now because it doesn't feel homey. That's all I can say. Just now, I was talking to Colin about crop trading and also hedge fund because I'm planning to start one. And he was like, he wants me to join his crop trading desk. Let's see how it goes. He tells something. One of the biggest challenges in my life. Finding a seat in a Singapore library. Tell me whether you can find it. Now if you guys cannot afford to buy my book, you can buy it for free in library. In that way you don't need to pay a single cent. Most of the time my book will be available. Cause not many people bore it. Let me show you. Yes. It's all available. I don't know if I should cry or laugh. Nobody borrowed my book in Singapore. Thank you for your support. I think my book is in 11th floor. I'm not gonna climb all the way up there. Just leave it to gather dust. Okay. Look who I found. You're amazing. Okay, before I go for market research, I just want to tell you one thing is that just now we had a conversation like 30 minutes because my friend is super busy, work from Monday to Sunday, non-stop, just like me. And I realized that all these small time and their friends that I have, they all have one thing in common is that regardless of how successful they are, they practice discipline, consistency every single day. They still work hard, they still continue with their daily routine. Now even though you might see that my daily routine is quite boring for a lot of people It's just market research, meeting with friends, to talk business, to talk trading, talk investing Gym, swim, read, that's it Only once in a while you see holiday vlogs but most of the days out of 365 days a year It's just like this Because the thing is a lot of people think that to become successful you need to take one big action That you do once in a while, it's not that to become successful, it's about the little things that you do every single day without fail. No matter how dry it is, no matter how boring it is, you still do it. No matter how physically, mentally tired you are, you still do it. So I realized that even when I'm on vacation, I still go to the gym, I still train, I still read, I still read my emails, I still do work. Because I know that if I put in a little bit, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit of work every single day, eventually, all this little bit of work is going to accumulate to become something big. So that's why on this channel I always say 
you can work freaking hard for three to five years and achieve nothing with your life and you feel discouraged once in a while because all you do every single day is just work 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 and it's so dry so boring but then if you keep on doing it you come up on the fifth and sixth year if not the tenth year becoming a massive overnight success story and then people are going to call you lucky and the thing is you know you're not lucky you know that you have put in the work every single day that nobody sees I can tell that the speaking, the media interview, the magazine, the glamour, all that is just 1% of my life. Just 1%. 99% is just me hustling, doing the work, training, researching, developing myself. That's what most people don't see. Like for example, my friend Colin Xiao. Most people in the public, all they see is him being on stage. Okay, But as a speaker, what I see my friend doing is just hustling every single day. Even though he's physically mentally tired, he still hustles, he still work, he still sacrifice some free time, he still sacrifice leisure time. As a friend of different CEOs from different industries, what you see is their five, six, seven cars, their mansion, their bungalow, being a CEO, the nice office. That's what you see. But what I see is them thinking how to solve problems every single day, facing challenges that would kill a lot of people. Putting in the sacrifice that most people don't see. Saying no to parties, saying no to wedding invitations, saying no to a lot of friends who ask them out. That's what you don't see. You know what I'm saying? Because there are way too many people marketing you the easy way out nowadays. The truth is, the easy way out to your dreams is just put in the work. You might not like what I'm saying, but this is just the truth. Okay, with that said, I need to check the markets now. Going to work. Let's go.